Happy New Year, Lawrence. Same to you, Anna, and to all of our lovely viewers. Happy yes. New Year. Happy New Year. May it be filled with health, wealth, and not so many blunders. I love that. Wonderful. And that's the end of this show. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> so also what a couple of you might not know, today is official uh, black hat wear day. And yeah, uh, we don't have a black hat on, go for it now. We didn't coordinate this no. either, which is quite extraordinary. Yeah, but there I'm, you go. Planned. I just wanted to have it a bit cozy. It's cold. It's snowing outside right this moment. Is it snowing right. in Berlin? Uh, no, but it's very cold. Yeah, yeah. it's very so cold. Today, just yeah. feels a bit more cozy sometimes. Also, sometimes yeah, you have a bad hair day. So, <laughs> well, I've had a bad hair day for the past sort of ten years, to be <laughs> oh, fair. <no. laughs> but we're Don't all good. Salt into the wound. That's all right. <laughs> We've accepted it. You know, sometimes you're in Zugzwang and you just got to put your hand out and. My gosh, and the analogy. Admit, <laughs> ad, ad, admit that it's it's time to move on to a new battle. So that's where we're at. <laughs> so, like. Um, Battling. If, if you want to take a look at a review of 2021, chess wise, let's not talk about the obvious COVID, Corona, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. How was 2021 for you? I think 2021 was a great year for chess oh, okay, cool. in general uh, because we had a lot of big tournaments and we had a lot of new stars born. That is um, true. For example, even just now, I was at the European Rapid and Blitz yeah. Championships in Warsaw. Many people watching will know that I was the host commentator on site and we saw performances from young people that were simply astonishing. In the rapid tournament, we had Abdu Satorov, 17-year-old Uzbek grandmaster, just wins winning this thing. Crazy, wins crazy. this tournament. Now, if you'd been really if you are a super chess fan and you've been watching all the sort of interviews on various chess websites, you will know that a lot of top grandmasters actually picked Abdu Satorov to have a breakout uh, year or something like that. Oh, they all oh. think he's got the natural talent of a Karpov, like a serious natural talent. And so it didn't surprise me even one bit when he went on to win and he beat Aronian, Caruana, Carlson and Naponishi. So, I mean, if you beat those guys and win the World Rapid Championships, you have to just say fair enough. And it's the way he does it He's resilient, so it means when he has a bad position, he defends and finds resources. Mm. And when he's winning, he's got this. He's he's extremely Karpovian. He has this <laughs> maximum. He has this maximum piece output concept that Karpov had. He gets the most out of his pieces. He has a very mature way of playing, and he was just phenomenal. It was a pleasure to comment commentate on him. Nice. And the same. And the same goes for, um, for example, Bibi Sara Abu Suaiba in the 17 years old girl, they're both 17, she wins the blitz and comes second in the rapid. I mean... From which stunning. country is she again? She's from, from Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan, exactly, yeah. yeah. So Kazakhstan, it was the event for Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, as far as I can recall. I mean... Yeah, and, and Kazakhstan women's team now looks like it, it's going to be able to challenge Russia in yeah. the next few years because they have... I was say, but Sadu Akasova and um, um, Abdul Malik. Abdul Malik, yeah. Right. So those those three are already like serious players, and I'm sure they've got another player in the 2400 room. So they're already a massive team. Nice. So nice. congratulations to Bibi Sara, and then of course Magnus Carlsen, uh, you know, holds holds uh, his crown easily against Nepo. Um, so, you know, that was obviously interesting to see. And then we had things like, uh, you know, the, the chess tour, the online stuff, which is continuing this year, yep. this year, we've yep. got a very interesting year as well. So I would say all in all for chess, we had Queen's Gambit. That was last year. That, right? was, was, that was a year before, but it was, oh, that was actually a year before yeah, it was, was it? 2020. Okay. So we have 2022 but, right now, just for the people who got confused by <laughs> <laughs> no, it's easy to get confused nowadays. It's just seven um, days in after all, so. <laughs> that's true. Um, yes, it but, was 
it was a great dress here. It's true. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Sorry, I, I didn't want to cut you off. You no, no, no. You're right. But in general, it it was an important chess year, and and this year, like just a very quick sort of uh, For you know, forecasting. Yeah, yes. like yeah, like a, uh, an overview of what we've got. Tons of really big events. We've got the um, Grand Prix, which are actually taking place in Berlin. FIDE Grand Prix, which oh, are oh. Deciding the final candidates places. We do have the candidates this year as well. So it's back to back years because it was cancelled the previous year and Corona and blah, blah, blah. So we've got another candidates tournament. We've got Ali Reza Fruja, by the way. How did I not mention him? True. In 2021, who qualified for the candidates, youngest ever 2800 player, um, and won some important tournaments, played amazingly for France in the European Championship. 2,800 breakthrough. Exactly. So Ali Reza Fruja, is this going to be... I mean, he, last year you could argue he had Player of the Year. This year, if he wins the candidates, he's setting up the maybe destined World Championship match with Magnus Carlsen. Who knows? Uh, so mm -hmm. we've got the candidates. We've got the Olympiad taking place this year as well. Don't forget, that's taking place in uh, in Moscow, I believe. So Looking forward to that. I love the Olympiad. Yeah, tons of important events. Nice, nice. By the way, um, Player of the Year, Firuja. Yes, I think we can yeah, all agree. I think so. Is there something like uh, Player of the Year awards? Do you know? They're, in, they're, they're, they're Inofficial. I think there's some unofficial. But I know, for example, with the English Chess Federation, that they have a Player of I said, the, the, I at least they used to have a player. I don't know if the German chess federation. Now let me ask you. I know because I made my choice with Svetlana Demchenko already, who is the um, female player of the year from last oh, wow. year. What okay. do you think? Or what oh, would God. be what would be your choice? It's not so easy because you do not have her on the radar. Oh, there's somebody that's a clear choice, is there? That's I th not I, I, I personally, I, we were we were pretty sure about this. I don't know. You're going to have to tell me. I think it was Kostenyuk. Oh, no. I, I, she was definitely just in my mind, by the way. Yeah, because she had a great... She rocked uh, the World Cup, right? Yeah, she won the World Cup, World Rapid. World Rapid 2, and she was... Silver in the Blitz. World Blitz. Yeah. Silver in the World Blitz. Yeah, she could... Yep, it could be Alexandra's year. I would agree. I think she's had a phenomenal year. And she did great work for commentating on the match in Russian. She did a lot for the Russian channels. So I agree. Very I active, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she, that she 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 probably deserves it. Which is which is nice because uh, yeah, we were also talking like there's all those young players. So it was really as you mentioned already a, a time for the young players to to spread out a bit bigger. But then there's some we already know who are also having a great great year. Coming oh, from great great years, I I wanted I want to solve some tactics, and I think you at home yeah, let's want do to it. do the same. So let us just dive into it. What have let's you prepared it. for us today? Well, I've prepared a few. Just um, in general, they're uh, they're they're very pretty tactics, I would say. Oh, okay. Uh, so they're a bit flashy. Uh, <laughs> a lot of sacrifices, um, and. Uh, a lot of interesting mating themes. So I mean, it's All it's more over. to do with it's more to do with finding the spectacular wins today. Let's go for it. Okay, let's start with number one. So I'm going to share my screen. And okay, okay, tactic coach Trent. Correct. So this is the game Drev against Rosenthalis. From Vilnius, 1988, um, which was a few years ago, <laughs> yeah, and it's what it's why to play. Obviously, two extremely well-respected uh, grandmasters. Actually, I, I saw Alexei Drev at the World Rapid Blitz. Exactly, I just wanted to mention I saw his name yeah. flashing. Uh, up to yeah. because he was quite up there for a little moment or so, or he played against yeah. one or two really strong players at one point. Yeah, no, he played Carlson, he played some other guys. I, I saw him in the lift a few times, so you know, yeah, um, yeah. he's still knocking around. Rosenthalis is also still playing, but he's playing a little less. 
Oh, and hasn't okay. maintained the same sort of level that Alexei Drea has been. Didn't know that. I thought he might have not... Uh, yeah, yeah, Rosenthalis is still playing. So Okay, so let's look at this position here. So, yeah. there is... There is a lot of uh, sacrificing potential. I, I see a lot of nice moves for White to open mm -hmm. up this tiny uh, look-alike fortress of black with those three pawns. So the king is in the fianchetto position. <laughs> and we have to knock him out of there somehow. Now, what can we play here? So that's I, the question. I think yeah, that might be the question. Uh, it's not so easy, by the way. I've started off with quite a tricky one. Okay, great. Very nice. Well, so a very, very silent move, and maybe it is too silent. So first of all, do we have any threats working against white? I don't see that much potential now. So maybe we can make a more quiet move in the beginning don't have to just doze over the whole place. So what about F5 to open, to try yeah. to open this line a bit? Um, get looks the, like a very reasonable move. It looks me. reasonable, but maybe it is a bit too quiet. So there's several options of how to play against this. And this is what makes me... Um, makes it a bit more difficult, because if there are too many options for black then the calculation is just like probably too far away. Okay, so let's... F5 is probably a good move, the more I think about it. Okay. F5 probably wins. It, yeah, I don't, it's... It, it, it's not the move that was played, but uh, just to demonstrate. Oh, no, it says it's, it's not winning. Okay. Oh, it does like it. Well... It's, it's I'm I mean, sure. It's it's unclear. It's <laughs> but there must be I'm something sure. more forcing. Probably. There's something more forcing. So exactly. and my second idea would be the bishop to h5, and then just mm -hmm. putting all the pieces on g6. Also a very logical move. Uh, probably also not the right one. Now when you're saying like also a logical move, that's no. I mean I, I like both of your suggestions. <laughs> I think I think they're both very good moves. Bam. Bam. But why found I'm going to put this way. This one you're going to have to be a little bit creative. But oh, I yeah, you're going to have to be a bit creative. It's a very unusual way to continue. Very so unusual. I think I have an idea. Okay, Queen F5. Yeah, bravo. Is it starting off the year? Because I I mean you gave a little bit of a tip. Yes, uh, with being creative and um, yeah looks very beautiful now i i when you mentioned this i saw that the king cannot move to uh, either f8 or f6 because of this uh, knight that's this typical pattern we know between right on d7 so that's that gives you a clue about the tactic which might follow up and that's why i believe queen f5 can maybe do the trick i haven't calculated it of course but First, I think black has to react because there is queen f6 and then it's just going to go mate, I think. So Okay, so queen f6 is just mate. Queen takes f7, really, is the mate. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, true, yeah, true, yes. Right? So, okay, so the question is what happens after uh, g takes f5? Exactly. That's... So, very likely it is the move bishop takes f5. Okay. Let's see. So the king... Why don't you calculate it out? Okay, that's a good idea. So at home, now we know this move. Let's calculate a bit with our heads. Yeah, that's important for tactics. By the way, um, I didn't mention this. So since I'm doing the tactics training with you, I became much better in Blitz and Bullet. Because, yeah, really? it's just... Yeah, yeah, it is. I, I think oh, wow. like 50 to 100 points. It's just, Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I'm doing tactics wow. much more often. No, no, it is, it, is, very... it is one of the key elements to, to get better at quicker games. Like, no that's question. That's probably not everybody's goal. Well done. Definitely you well... also get better in your real chess, but I haven't played overboard chess since, yeah, okay. 2020. Anyway, so let's see. The bishop takes on f5. Now the king can go to either h6 or h8. 
Correct. Uh, okay, H8. Let's start with H8. Eight, yeah. eight, H8 is mate. Mate with, H8 uh, is mate, yep. So let's make the same move on king to H6 with the knight going to F7 check. Then the king goes yeah. to H5. Correct. Then G5 check with the rook. Okay. Just give some checks, I guess. The king goes to H4. H4. Uh, no, 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 no. We don't we don't give the check. We we take the other knight on f6 and give the check. King on, h4. Yeah, king h4. And then the rook. King h3, and then uh, I think it's mate. It's just rook h4. Is it mate? Yeah. No, because I can go king takes h4. The knights are on f6 and f7. Oopsie. Okay. Um then I just go up with the rook. Uh, it it has to be mate. It cannot. It cannot work out. This. It cannot. You're right. Your instinct is yeah, exactly it, it, right. It, it must. There is no way to get out of there. I have. The, I have covered all the G files with my minor pieces, and the rook will just take on H seven, I guess, and checkmate. Yeah, that's probably mate. But there's also nine G five mates. So here. Oh, I didn't see that. Takes. Yes. Yes. Check. Check. Yes. Oh, yeah. Stupid. Okay. Well, I would have nice. gone to g7 with the rook and then give a checkmate on it. Yeah, so, this yeah. is probably... I mean, is... when you get here, you know you're never in danger exactly, anyway. Exactly, yeah. Beautiful. This is also, also mate. This so, isn't over yet. Oh. So, no. it went queen of five and he went rook f8. <laughs> no. But it doesn't know. matter because he gave check, king g8... Okay. I maybe I should have let you maybe I should have let you try that. Bam. No, there sixes. cannot be much else. So this is the first thing you have to calculate. It is. Yeah. So uh H takes, I guess. H takes only move. And, then, and now yeah, this exactly, is... yeah. So I thought uh, for a second queen takes g6, but that cannot work, I guess, no. because yeah, the rook always moves in between. So you make this move before and threaten g6 and checkmate. And I right. think that does it, right? Yeah, and the point here is that um, it's important to note that these pieces are all offside, right? Yeah. So that's what justifies this. Now queen's takes g6 check as a threat. So black play oh, for should not be over, but that not over, but... still has to win. I mean, rook takes, uh, takes back, queen takes... And uh, uh, Mate in two. Yeah, check on h6 and uh, um, knight to f6. Yeah, beautiful. No, I mean, how Very all nice. the pieces came together, and that that happened in the game. I always that happened in the game. It's like, am I so is this dying out? What games like this with those tactics? Uh, no, I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say so. They're not dying out. I mean, but I mean, these kind of combinations, you know, they don't happen every day of the week. That's for sure. Um, okay. Yeah, that's that's a good point. It's certainly not. It's certainly not dying out. But uh, I haven't. I don't remember too many tactical, absolutely crazy brilliancies from twenty twenty one. Not that many. I remember uh, the game Caruana between uh, between Caruana and um, who was it? Uh, MVL. That was uh, with the preparation against uh, Karo Khan. I think that was pretty crazy, where he's sacrificing okay. the bishop and then has a nice attack. But that that was basically it. Anyway, yeah, I I, I don't even remember that game. But yeah, okay, so. Uh, we still do get some games like this, but this was very pretty. Very. On to pretty. the next one. Okay, wide to play. This one should be a bit easier. Hmm. Should it that? Okay. So. Wide to play, and what well, what's the common theme between this and actually the last, the last one? There's a common. There's something I've noticed. I mentioned it already. Oh yes, it is actually. It is exactly the same theme. The creativity. So is it? I mean, I. I believe you could technically 
push the queen to f6 again because black cannot oh, wow. take. Funnily enough, That's but then but there is uh, no follow up. <laughs> right, oh, there is exactly. actually with rook oh. g4. Right. But after queen of six, maybe I'll go knight d7. Yeah. Yeah, and then... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's not so helpful. But very beautiful that it would work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nonetheless. <laughs> so anyway, so how about we put the rook to g4 immediately so we can cover this line. But the rook to g4 immediately e5. threatens mate. E5 is dumb. E5 is definitely the answer, yeah. And we okay, attack. That's mm -hmm. not fun, no. So what do we do? Let's just go back to calculating 101. Okay. So we, what, give, what? we give checks first. Oh, yeah. Checks. That it is actually. It is queen G7. Crazy. Beautiful. Oh, Beautiful. my gosh. Why didn't I think of it immediately? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's, yeah. Why, that's why your order of your priority yes. should be always the checks because yes. it might just win okay so let's follow it through Takes. so rook g4 check and then we have the same position again right well if yeah, we go mate. here just that's mate and after king h6 well i th you actually need a move here this is important ah you actually had to get here that's why this this position wasn't so straightforward interesting okay okay so after the check, so the most obvious check on g5 is probably not working because Why? the king will go to h5. Then wow. there is another, oh, wait a second. Oh. The king goes to h5, and then I have this discovered, not really discovered, but still so discovered. <laughs> discovered, but not really discovered. Undiscovered. Undiscovered. Un undercover. So now, okay, what would happen? How can we block the king from the g file? most effectively is the question i guess mm -hmm. um huh Tricky. that is a tough cookie here i thought it was easier you mentioned okay now <laughs> jokes aside so uh what do we do here what do we do here have you found it out at home yeah it'd be interesting if you i haven't Okay, let's just calculate this. So, g5 check. King goes to h5. How to follow up? Rook h4. King g6. Rook h6. King g7. I doubt we can capture enough checks. Yeah, we're going we we're, we're putting our rook on a weird square yes. in that final. Mm -hmm. So, check King h5. Now, how about we leave our rook where it is for the moment and use the knight to stir up some troubles? And, well, we could go to d4. Yeah. Knight to d4 after bishop g5, king h5, knight d4. Yes, let's try that. Uh, I think, I mean, may, maybe I will, if I get the queen, then black is still better, I think. Yeah, you are, black is still better. And after bishop g5, king h5, knight d4, I wonder if I can go e5 there. So I'll put this on the board. So bishop g5, yeah. king h5, knight d4, I would be tempted to play e5. Yeah. Threatening this. If you take, I just take, and I know I'm winning with black. Yes. Right? And Definitely. if you move rook g3 check. That was the whole idea, but I... No. Well, here it's, actually it's 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 still unclear. It There's this terrible move, bishop g4. Exactly. That was my idea, bishop g4. Unlucky. Now, if you take, and I take... I think I start to escape with the king. Yeah. 
because like any bishop move, yeah, I go yeah. king f6. And then we have. But I was wondering, can you take like this and continue the? Um, continue the madness. I think I, I I'm missing this the, the oh, so interestingly is of course taking on d4. But that opens this beautiful spot on d3 for the bishop. Now, if we imagine rook g3, king g6. g6. Ah, but we still have f5. Yeah. I don't think this works. I have a feeling mm. this is winning for black. Yeah. Nah. No, no. So that sounds, doesn't win. That doesn't win. So actually, the, the natural bishop g5 check is not the move here. So we need to find an alternative. Let's get this going. So the other thing I'm still thinking about is, of course... Oh, yeah, and I'm so stupid because I thought, like... Okay, now, it has to be bishop f6. Correct. Because, well you know what? I thought about this immediately, but I thought, like, oh, yeah. no, you can just go rook to g8. But I can just take the rook. What's the threat? I thought the rook was um, protected. But uh, what's the... Well, what's the threat here? What is white actually threatening? Uh, checkmate, I guess. So um, where on g seven, that has bishop to... g seven, king h five, uh, rook g five, checkmate. Correct. Okay, so bishop g seven, king h five, rook g five is, is mate. That's correct. Okay, and there's really no way to stop that. The more you look at this position, yeah, there's nothing you but, can do. So let's. let's... Uh, sorry, there's bishop d eight. Sorry, there's bishop d eight. Yes. Annoying. So there's two moves. And what about rook g8, actually? Rook where? g8. Here? No, no, not here. Um, the one move before. It, in, instead of bishop uh, d8. So I can so, just take it. Exactly. But now the rook is missing on this line, which well, can give the checkmate. But now we're threatening bishop g5 and knight removes. So something like this is made. Oh, what a beautiful mate. Okay, fi fair enough. Yeah. That's very nice, yeah. Okay, so, so bishop d8 has to be the only try. Yeah. To cover g5. So okay, let's still proceed with uh, bishop g7 check. Okay, king h5. And now we have to probably play... Oof, I guess... Beautiful, by the way. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's really stunning, actually. Oh, yeah, it is. It's the rook to g5 check. Yeah, you just take away yes. the square. And then we have the same pattern as before, that the knight is taking care of g4 and g6. So the king cannot go out, and that's a mate in two. Beautiful. Stunning. Wow. What the stunning. heck? Also what a gorgeous... Yeah, same year, actually, believe it or not. Interesting. What was what a beautiful this? finish, huh? Yeah, it is absolutely. Gosh, um, nice, nice uh, patterns we're learning here. Again. Very nice. Let's very nice. let's give one last one and then let's one uh, do our tactic section. It's all right. This one our is our goal to reach three thousand in the year twenty twenty two. Yeah, wow, that's a, that's a big up. We yeah. probably can make it. Let's, let's see. see. Let's see. It's really tough. Yeah. Okay, what do we have here? So. There is, well, there is surely the knight going to f5, giving an immediate nice threat. But well, that's always a move, isn't it? That's a candidate move. But as we know, we don't start with that move because it's exactly. not Exactly. Now, we cannot really give checks here, but we can take on f7. Right, so we can take on f7. There are other things we can do as well. Taking on f7 is a move. Taking on f7 is actually... Interesting. What's the follow up after uh, King takes? It's knight e6, but then you can take back with the rook, I guess. No, I mean, I would just block. So after this, uh, this, this, I would just go here instantly. Oh, okay. Blocking. That's not going to go mate. De queen takes c8. I mean, it's no, not. No, it's not mate. going to go mate, unfortunately. <laughs> close it's an important checkmate but you but but i'm really glad you spotted that move because that's important okay Big so clip. 
so what do we do next so what about okay so what about we well this was the very very first idea before i even started thinking so let's just take on c8 rook takes back okay but we but but yeah so we start with that so queen c8 rook c8 rook c8 let's start with that okay forcing line beautiful yeah and black has only got two answers knight f8 or king h7 let's start with king h7 aha uh -huh. so uh bishop e4 Correct. And after g6? That's checkmate. Oh, nice. It is F7. checkmate. Yep. So, Shall we show quickly? Let's show it yeah. for... Yeah, so queen c8, rook c8, rook c8, king h7, bishop b4 check, g6. And that is it. Very nice. Okay, so it has to be um, the knight to f8. This is, by the way, where I stopped thinking again, once again. By the way, there is just one other little line that you do have to calculate, which is the move f5. Oh, no. Because after bishop takes f5, he has g6. Oh, it's so good you mentioned this. Okay, now let's see. But it looks as though white has got a very, very strong move here. In my oh yeah, isn't it? Isn't it just? Um... Oh wait, no, it isn't. Uh... Yes, it is working. So bishop takes f5, and bishop takes uh, g6 h5 yeah king king i well king doesn't have to take necessarily right but um mm, no but king g796 check is the yeah same. exactly so yeah, king h5. takes so then again i forgot that king can go to g5 is it working okay but let's just so this is mate yes. congratulations yes. this is also going to be mate because I of the knight yeah this is what i calculated Beautiful. but and if g5. the king comes up I mean, can can this just be a bit delayed? Isn't it just a G5? It's made in one. G made there's, in there's one. Mate in, oh my! What? It's made in one here. Oh wow! What it is? Did knight you see F3, it? Three, yeah. Yeah, knight f three. Yeah. Knight Whoa! F3. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. <sighs> okay, so this probably uh, well, it, it does work. So congratulations. So you can't do that. Okay. So that means after takes takes, he has to block with knight f8. Yeah. So as I mentioned, that's where I stopped thinking. Now, oh, it's nice. It's uh, it has to be um, knight to e6. Correct. Bravo. So knight to e6. He can't take with the knight. We're threatening to take and bishop before check again. But so he has there's... to take this way. Only Does move. he have to take? I think so because his queen and rook are completely offside. You're threatening rooks. I mean. You're threatening rook takes f8, bishop b4 check, and uh, annihilation. You might even be threatening some knight takes f8 in some positions. I think you have to take. I mean, there are just no other... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah there's groups. no no counterplay. Interesting. No, there's nothing. No no checks, yeah. no counterplay. Yeah. So you take. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. This has to be. So now... And now we have to find the finish. Yeah, so... Which is not immediately obvious. Yeah. I, I guess we can play bishop e4. g6. And then e6. Bishop we g6 and then take on e6. Yeah. Um, right, so the threat is h8 and g8 oh no f6. we can escape to f6 yeah oh, this is it. probably but this is probably still good for white because you've got a really tricky idea yeah here. but I, I i missed that unfortunately or stupid i mean this you probably probably win you can just win by pre playing a rook f7 check i guess well it depends let's say rook e7 if you go rook f7 i take take and take and suddenly you lose what the heck? You're right. You've got to be a little bit careful. Like after rookie seven here, I wonder if oh it's still winning. It's still it's still mate. So oh yeah, it's mate in three here. Check. Uh oh no, wait, check. And it's then you have mate. to play F four? No, then Oh then Oh it. yeah, yeah. F four. It has to happen, no? No, no, but, but there's a check. Queen. There's a queen check. Ah, uh, there's also a queen check. Uh, we're, but we're losing control. Clearly, yes, we so. are. Okay, there has to be something better. Now, never mind. So, um, 
No, no, D D5 is not as forced as I thought it would be. So let's go back a couple of steps, please. Well, here is definitely correct. Oh, yeah. So, so, so far, so good. Now, yeah. um, so what would happen? No, good. Let's give just a check. The king goes to H6. Oh, is it just. Okay, so uh, rook h8, check, king. Okay, oops, no, no. Oh, you want to go rook? No, I don't like rook h8 first because the king comes out. It might be okay, so here. Well, I'm thinking of... Um, you want to go rook f8, don't I you? thought of, yeah, rook f8 and then king g3. It's a lot of silent moves, probably a bit too silent, but... No, it might work, might work, might be okay, yeah, it works, it's fine. It's fine. But there's still something a bit more forced, right? Not really. I mean, this just works. But yeah, I mean, the point is that the black king can't escape. And just because yeah. we're low on yeah. time, it's check. And now the very simple, the, the cutest solution is just to go rook g8. Wonderful solution. Oh, my gosh. Threatening mate in one. And now if he blocks, now it's mate. I've never, I think I've rarely ever You've seen this. Never seen this mating. idea. This is unbelievable. And after h5, the point is you go g5 with the same. Oh. Beautiful. Very unusual, but beautiful. That is so cool. Look at that. That's unbelievable. The king is trapped. Completely trapped. <sighs> yeah. I think in the game he went check. And G5, which is another way of doing it, but this is clearly a lot, a lot, uh, a lot slower. Yeah. This is just like mate in two. What a beautiful concept! I I also, when I was researching uh, tactics, I also did not ever see something like this. Very very nice. That is absolutely stunning. Nice one. Thank yes. you, Lawrence. You're All right, it so. is time to break free and. Let's yeah, get some, some other tactics going. Join right. us. Put on your own tactics trainer. What is your rating at the moment? Is it like 1600, 1800, 2000? Are you, are you uh, being in a direct duel with us? <laughs> we have 2347. Yeah, we, we wanted to get 2350, but there was one tactic which... Yeah, there was one tactic that our yeah. so, so hopefully we have some super beginner tactics again to warm up. Well, we are warming yeah, up, well, but the computer doesn't know, obviously. Now, um, it's why. Well, this right? one is just uh, this one is just like mate. Yeah, whatever, so I can see just... it too. So it's check, it's check, and it's mate. Okay, Good. Next one. Difficult, it says. No, difficulty 12. So it's easy. black. Yeah, it's okay. That's uh, yeah. We it's don't. Main one. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, not that. Not that difficult. That, this one is also pretty, pretty easy. This is just yeah. Tech, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mate. Okay. So nice mate. Uh, okay. This one is twenty one eighty eight. So mm -hmm. this one is going to require a little bit of thought. Dang. So. <sighs> Black to play. Now, the point is we can't take on f1 because he goes b4 check, I guess, king b5. Why can't we do that? Queen d7, king c4, queen d7. That looks like winning. Where is it? King b5? Ah! Can I give an ah. idea? I have an idea. Tell me. What about rook a4 to avoid the check on b4? Because there's no follow up check. So yeah, and then you just take a, a four you, check. Yeah, needs I love to it. Take and then. Oh, and then you just yes. take. I think we have. Uh, can we just take, take the rook? Yeah, we take the rook. There is no other. Yes. Yeah, well done. Oh, nice. Now it's important to point out then that taking the rook immediately is uh, probably uh, a mistake. So because before be and five. then. And this was the key moment, which uh, that is C six check. And then it's, oh, it's uh, made. then it's um it's a perpetual. It's, yeah, exactly. Or is it even no. it's made, isn't it? Almost. No, 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 it's not made. It's perpetual, it's yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's perpetual. Yeah, it's perpetual. But evil enough, just imagine you have this position and then you yeah. screw it up like that. 
Well, I mean, how many people in a game would just take on F1, right? And not see this idea. That is true. That is true, of course. Nice. You're, tra you're training. It's working. I have working. the feeling. I think right, I was really, 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 really terribly weak in the very beginning. Nice giving one. Us, giving us a lot of main ones. Okay. This one here is 2407, Anna. Yeah. It is, isn't it? <laughs> So, of course, we have the smothered mate idea, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I've seen... But uh, how can we reach it? Okay. Uh, no, this, was, this requires some walking around, I think. Unfortunately... So rook takes g2, rook takes, yeah, rook has to take, yeah, rook has to take back. Okay. Queen e1 check. Bishop g1. Bishop g1, you say. And then we have perpetual solved. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Oh, that's that is tough. We can jump forward. It's master level. Have you found it? No. No. Nope. I've got an idea. The first idea that came to mind, is which it, I is still it, like. Is which it? Which I still really? like. Sorry. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> it is. It's the first idea, Rook G2 or not? No. Oh. That's not my first idea at all. Oh. Yeah. What? Nowhere near, Nowhere near Rook G2. What? Nowhere near it. <gasps> is it D3? That would be funky. It's interesting. D three. D three is interesting. No. It's not working though. It's Feels, we're we're dying. Uh, Queen B eight check and Bishop E four check. With terrible consequences. So. Oh gosh, this is a killer. Oh boy. Okay, now you have to. I I cannot. Find it. Um, what was your? Should I tell you my idea? initial idea? Yeah. So the first thing I see here is I want to play knight f two mate, the yes. smothered yes. mate, and I want to uh, take on h two, right? Yes. And I want to uh, cut the communication. So the first move I thought of in this position was actually the move rook f four. I threaten queen takes h2 and knight f2 Ooh, mate. Wow. And if you take on f4, I play knight f2. And what I was trying to understand was after queen takes f2, queen takes f2, what's going on there? And it feels as though that position should be winning for black because the d pawn runs and I can win the queenside pawns. The other point why I think rook f4 is probably right is because then when white gives a check, let's say queen b8 or queen d8, sorry, queen b8, queen d8, you can't play. After king h7, bishop e4 check, I can just exactly. take it. Exactly. So I would bet a lot of money that rook f4 is the right move. Should we see? But. Yeah, go on. Once the bishop moved to e4, gives yeah, a check I, and the rook takes. Yeah. Does. Then I'm. Why well, then I'm like. Yeah. I'm, I'm a lot of pawns up minimum there, right? That, Okay, yes. Let's let's go for it. Oh, you, you are so cool. Oh, sugar. <laughs> oh my god. It's not knight f2. What have I noticed? What have I noticed? Just now? Yeah. It's not a knight f2. No. Come on, Anna. Oh, is it going to be um queen takes f2 and then the rook? Oh my gosh! Oh. Wow! Wow! Look at that! 
lot of beauty. Difficulty. You don't get that every day. <laughs> what a jump! Two thousand three hundred seventy-one. Nice. Yeah. Let's get on. Get get on one or two or three more. Yeah, shall we? Okay, Queen 66. Awesome, well done. Oh, another. Okay, let's give on this one and then <laughs> let's maybe stop. <laughs> uh, this one is a little. Ah, I think I've seen it. So, what about Bishop F1 check? Then. Oh, it's not working. It's not no, but working. I, I think I've seen it. You know this one, you mean? Yeah, no, wait. Oh, I missed that move. That's not good. And um, okay. Ooh. Knight e4. Yeah, that's what I wanted to make work. And then f1 check. King d1. Okay. King d1 is really annoying. Oh. King d1 is so okay, but um, I don't think there's a move after that. Now, so, how about has to be... I know it, yeah. I think I know it. Go on, but I just have to. Ah, uh, it's not, it's it's not working, I think. I thought about the silent move, queen to c2, attacking That's the rook. Far too deep for me. But there is uh, the knight f5 check. King h7? Yeah, but then our whole plan is already uh, oh, okay. destroyed, right? Yeah, it feels like we, we don't have time for a quiet move. Feels like. Yeah. It. But come on, it has to be e4, no? That's what I thought. Hmm. What was wrong with Bishop F1 check immediately? So the knight takes. And now knight takes E4? And there are no and, checks. Uh, and then knight takes E4. That's got to be it. That has to be it, because then we're attacking the queen, and knight c3 check threatens to win the rook. Why didn't it work? There was something. No, because you tried queen takes d2, but the knight uh, to win back the queen, but that 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 isn't necessary. You can just go. Which is back actually one. also a good option, maybe. Okay, well, but I think maybe. Let's give it one more one more thoughts. Okay, that's good. So bishop f1 check. Knight does the problem. Okay, you just did it. <laughs> I was sure it's the right move because I've looked at everything else. Now you can just take and after queen e6. It's rook f2 check? No. Uh, uh, it is. Is rook it f2. or is it just c3? Rook, no, rook f2. You're right. King e1, queen c1 is mate. King e3, queen d4 is mate. King d3, you can go queen c3, check king takes e4, queen d4 is mate. So it is rook f2. Correct. Bravo. Marvelous. Unshare the screen. We reached 2,382. That is grand. Pretty good. I think next week we can... We're easily over 2,400 next week. Easily. Yeah, I think so. I think so too. So much That's fun. Exciting. Okay. Thanks, Anna. Thank you so much, Lawrence. Everybody at home, You're have welcome. a lovely weekend and we see each other soon. Take care. Bye. Bye bye.